Hi everyone, I'm Wilma Harkins. I'm your makeover specialist and today is taste testing day with some raw vegan recipes. And I do have a special guest and if you're ever wondering how do raw vegans stay warm during the winter and stay tuned, you'll want to catch this video. We've got a pretty hot, hot recipe for you. So Francine is back. I am. Thank <laughs> you for coming back, Francine. And once again, we're going to do a, a soup, but a little different this time. And the great thing is, is because I've been doing this, you know, raw vegan. Mm -hmm. So this taste testing that I'm trying to do, you know, once a month is, is the goal. Oh, nice. And it's nice that I can try some recipes. Yes. Now, last time I hadn't tried anything, <laughs> and, but I, to be honest, I did try it at New Year's. So... This is this oh, is a repeat because okay. I already That's made the right. pie. Oops, so I wasn't supposed to tell you. But anyways, the, the pie, I, I I, half of it's gone, so we're gonna try oh, it. Oh my! <laughs> yeah, and um, the soup we're doing a carrot ginger coconut soup. Yes, and this nice. is raw and simple. And I will leave a, a link for you at the bottom that you can pick it up. I got this one for Christmas. I got oh, nice. five uncooked books wow. this Christmas. So they're not cookbooks. <laughs> they're not cookbooks. They're uncooked nice. because raw vegans, um, all their food is raw, is raw, obviously. And anything that is warmed up will be only warmed up to 118 degrees. Wow. And I'm not 100% there, but... It'll be uh, very nice in the summertime. Oh, it's great in the summertime. Oh, yeah, because then it won't be so hot. Yeah. 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 So hot's hot. 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 <laughs> so, but... A lot of people wonder how raw vegans sort of, you know, keep up with their diets during the winter because you need that, oh, the you know, sort of that, such, the yeah. hot food, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So comfort this, food, yeah, the comfort, comfort food, food yeah. hot, you know, mm -hmm. the hot soups, and so yeah. we're gonna do it today and warm it up just a little bit. But this is a little bit, a little bit of spice in here. Oh, is there? Yeah. So ginger. Gingers, is there's there's a little gin and, and there's a little cayenne in there. Oh, is there? Ooh. Yeah, there's a little um, <laughs> lime and carrots and uh, a little avocado as well. Nice. I'll be, make sure that you get all the ingredients so that you can do it too. And of course, you can pick up the book as well. Anyways, we're gonna let this run a little bit. So um, let's just get this going. Oh. See, when I had it, we didn't put in the avocado because my friend couldn't have the avocado. And um, I have more than you. Oh, <laughs> well, there you go. But I, I've got the Vitamix beside me and there's more in there. <laughs> so technically, I have more than you. And It's a uh, pretty color. Just sprinkle. I like the color. It's like a, um, a, a deep orange. Yeah, like a... It's almost... Uh, it's or maybe a, more of a vibrant orange, I think. It's a pretty color. I don't know if you, everybody can see over A little there. more golden. Yeah, it's very gorgeous. Mm, All right. Wow. Oh, I should have brought some more pepper. <laughs> Good food doesn't need spices. Oh, I think they do. <laughs> I think I love the spices. Or the pepper anyways. Oh, here I go. I love my pepper though. I did put a bit of pepper, but it could use a oh, little bit more. Oh, it smells nice. Oh yeah, it's got a little kick to it. A little kick? The ginger. The first time I did it, it had a major kick to it. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh, it's the ginger. Oh my, my. It's the mm. ginger. Yes. Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. If you like ginger, this, yeah. is, this is... Well, in the last soup, we had ginger in there too, I think, the, the pumpkin. Mm. But... I don't think we had no, as much, No, it was though. the hummus. Yeah. The hummus, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah. Oh, and we'll, the cayenne? We'll, we'll add a link to that as just well. Just in the back of your mouth? The cayenne? Yeah. Just kind of like, whoa, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just to say it's there, right? I think the, the, the first time I made it, I it, was, uh, it. <laughs> it was... Yeah. When I made it, I didn't have the avocado in there at all. And you could really taste the carrot. 
Yeah, like, I can taste the avocado just because of the creaminess. Yeah, like, like the creaminess of the the avocado. The carrot, I don't, I don't. Uh, You're not tasting. No, let me see. My carrot taste buds are not working today. <laughs> hmm. And that's what well, taste the lime. Yeah, no, the carrot is yeah. missing. I, yeah. I don't seem to taste the carrot. Mm -hmm. I can smell the avocado. Yes, but the carrot, for some reason, is not. You're not tasting uh, it. No, not not. Um, and, and and carrot's not an overwhelm. Like it's not. It doesn't overwhelm a dish, anyways. It's kind of oh, subtle. Man. Did you try the cilantro yet? No, I'm getting there. Sorry. <laughs> I interrupted you. <laughs> oh, isn't mm. that good? Mm -hmm. So, of course, the strong. cilantro is mm. from my garden tower. Mm -hmm. So, all I have to do is go and pick wow. it off the tower, which is like so fresh. Like, it's yeah, it's, it's so like, much better than, than going to buy it at the store. Oh, like it has a different well, taste. I, it has, it a, has a to it mm -hmm. has taste, mm -hmm. you know, like we're in Canada. <laughs> By the time we wow. get stuff, it's oh, like it's, it's, taste, it's tasteless. No, that's really nice. And a lot of the fruits and vegetables, they're bland. they're well, they're not even ripe when they're hitting the truck. They're mm -hmm. ripening on the truck. So, what kind of carrots did you use? Orange ones. <laughs> now I I didn't use organic <laughs> ones, so I ended up peeling them. <laughs> what kind of oranges? Well, what no, kind because of not. You know what? They have purple and they have yellow carrots. Yeah, yeah smart it, ass. It, it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't tried, I just tried those. No, why I ask is because of the taste, the flavor of the carrot doesn't show up as, as strong. So I'm wondering if you tried maybe a purple carrot instead of an orange carrot. And we could have, you know, what I was thinking of doing and I didn't do mm -hmm. was to do it similar to what how I had done it the first time and not put the avocado in there and had a taste testing and then added an avocado so you could taste the difference. Oh, yes, yes. Because I really enjoyed it without the avocado you did in it. it. Yeah. It makes it a little more creamy wonder, and, you know, yeah, fluffier. And, it does, but I wonder if you were to just sliver avocados on top or something as a garnish, maybe. Yes, that would be really good or too. Or maybe even carrot. It's kind of nice though that you can do different alternatives mm -hmm. to just or do carrot, one basic uh, recipe. Juliano, or what's it called? Ju Juliano. Yes, just grated some carrots on the top. Grated carrots. Actually, you could take the as a Yeah, yeah. I as, to do that too. Mm -hmm. As a, as a decoration the, as well. Yeah. Just to yeah, give it that little extra. Lots of... Because uh, the carrot is, I, I mean, the soup is great. I really like it. But if it's a carrot and ginger soup, I'd call it more of a ginger avocado soup. Yeah, because you're really missing that. Yeah. Mind you, it did call for two cups of carrot juice, wow. and I ran out of carrots, so I had only okay. a cup and a half. Oh, and I, 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 the difference too from the first time that I made this, because mm -hmm. the first time I made it, it's like orange. Mm -hmm. It's oh. not like this at all. Oh, yeah, because adding was, the green, it gives it like that greeny orange color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From so, the avocado. No, it is nice. But it's it's. I good. like it. Definitely. Yeah, but it's kind of nice to, to have so many mm -hmm. alternatives, I think, to this, you know. the. It still amazes me that you get all the ingredients, like all the, the nutrients that you you need in your body. Not that you want, I mean, but you need yeah. without getting the the... Like the like all the food that you stuck in this soup, if we were to show it on the table, yes, there's lots. Yeah, let me take a look. But I need my glasses. Oh, we could use your eyes instead. My eyes work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My, mine eyes, mine work well too. And yeah, because there's two cups. So of we've got uh, carrot juice that I did through a juicer. So I juiced. Uh, I used my juicer, carrot. and I. Yes. Created your own juice. Yes, I created oh, my okay. own nice, juice nice. and used orange carrots. <laughs> so I did that. You're prejudiced, you don't like purple. <laughs> I've never tried it before. No. Oh, I did good. try them over New Year's so. Cayenne, is that all the cayenne? A quarter teaspoon of cayenne. And I went a little less. And you put a little less? Yeah. Oh. And ginger, I used two good thumb sizes. 
Wow. The, the first time I think I used three, so you could really, I think ginger was pretty strong. And ginger's good for you too. Yeah, it's super good for you. Okay, and then what else? We got black pepper and yeah. salt to taste and um, cilantro for garnish. Yeah, nothing major really. And if you line. were to look at how many carrots it takes to do two cups of juice. I used a whole bag. You hold a whole a two bag. Pound, two pound bag. A two pound bag of carrot to make two cups of juice. So yeah. imagine sitting here and having to eat two pound bag of carrots. It would be impossible. Exactly, yeah. This like, is, this you'd is... be chomping like all afternoon yeah. on, a, on a carrot. Yeah, it's, a, it's amazing. So you're getting so much more nutrients when you're juicing. Especially with the, the food that they have out on the, uh, the markets today. A lot of the, um, uh, like for carrots and such, a lot of the, um, what's in them oh, is not yeah. like it used to be. Yes, we well, lose a lot of organic. Yes, well, you want to try and use as much organic yeah. and non-GMO because there's yeah. so much that is, uh, you know. And if it takes two pounds to make two cups, wow. Yeah, I, th I think it was a two-pound. Yeah, a two-pound bag. Yeah. Wow. Two-pound bag, amazing. Hmm. And a call for two cups, and I noticed that I had a cup and a half. Yeah. Wow. What a two pounds. A two pounds. <laughs> So we're going to carry on, eat the rest of our soup and before be, it gets cold, <laughs> yeah, before it gets cold, because it's hot. actually the, the last soup was definitely hotter or yeah. shh, definitely hotter. Definitely. Because the, the avocado would kind of calm it down, right? Avocado would do that. Yeah. yeah and mm -hmm. I didn't have the avocado. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. And I really enjoyed it. I tell you, it kept my body warm for a couple, like, like the, I, I, it's probably the ginger and the cayenne yeah. pepper. Well, yeah, I really noticed the difference. Though. I'm, I'm overheating. <laughs> My face is turning red. I swear but it is. It lasted. It. You it know, like I really was yeah. feeling the chill before New Year's. Oh, nice. Oh, it's, we have that nice cold snap. Yeah. Wow. But after I was eating the soup for a couple of days, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, my body's a little warm. Wow. And it didn't just, you know, it wasn't while I was just eating it. Yeah. And it wasn't it, menopausal. And it wasn't menopausal. <laughs> No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> Actually, I got, you know, I, I did a video about her, but uh, one of my clients started, she got inspired by what I was doing and she mm -hmm. started juicing and her menopause went cut down. It, yeah. it went away in three days. Wow. And all she's doing is just adding juicing. That's all she's doing. It's just, it's just adding a juice yeah. in her yeah. morning breakfast. Well, it's like your hair, the same idea, right? But you know, the gray hair will disappear, and before you know it, you'll be all brown, brown hair again. And I don't know if I want to be brown <laughs> again, though. I kind of like being blonde. Yeah. They have more fun, they say. <laughs> yeah. They have more fun. I always have fun. So it doesn't really matter. Fun, fun's good. Anyways, we'll be back. We will. See you in a bit. My bye. <laughs> so we just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the ginger before we, uh, we go away again. So... Prentine was bringing up a good point. So, um, because the ginger is pretty strong and I might have used a little bit more than the <laughs> recipe. I think the recipe called for a teaspoon, two teaspoons. Of two teaspoons, yes. okay. Um, as I said, I'll mark it down so that you've got it. Um, but I used, I juiced my ginger with my carrots. Okay. And with I the used, carrots. Okay. yeah. So when I was juicing my, my carrots, I also juiced the ginger. Okay. So I used organic ginger, so I didn't bother peeling it. Okay. And I just put it in, but I put a chunk of, <laughs> I put two, two thumb sizes in there. So okay. lots of ginger. I love my ginger and it's so good for you. Yeah. So that's okay. why the ginger okay. is probably a be. little bit strong. Mm -hmm. but Because it wasn't and, measured. I didn't measure it. Yeah. I just, no, no, no. no. <laughs> No. So we'll see you in a bit. Recipes Unless we get something else to talk about before our next the recipes week. or guidelines. The guidelines. The guidelines. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, absolutely. Add what you want. Call it what you'd like. Absolutely. If you mm -hmm. like something a little mm -hmm. bit more or less or yeah. change it up. Well, avocado. Did the recipe call for avocado? It did. Oh, it did originally. So the first okay. time I couldn't use it because my friend could right. not have avocado. Okay. So I did it with him. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Play with things. I mean, I'm surprised that I'm even doing that. I used to. <laughs> My daughter's a big by the book cook. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was a non cook. 
Like I was not a big cook. Well, you're not period. cooking anymore. And I'm still not cooking. <laughs> this is heaven. <laughs> you're is you're uncooking. I'm uncooking. <laughs> yeah. You're mushing. Yeah. No, juicing is better. Juice, juicing is better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not good. See you in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the cilantro is really good. I know it's. There's nothing better than having it fresh from that tower garden. You just want to have a little piece of cilantro, in every spoonful. Every I know. And right? It gives it that little zest of of yeah, a little punch. Yeah, yeah there's. Little, little, I love it. But it's yep. the flavor is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really important too, right? With the ingredients. I think so yeah, I think you the know? cilantro is a is a um, uh, a key a key component in this soup. Oh, oh, without yeah. it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, with it, it's wow. Well, I couldn't believe yeah. it. it was like, yeah. oh, I, I'm out of cilantro. We we ended up taking more from the the tower garden. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll show you a picture and post a picture there so That's that you really can nice. see it. But uh, yeah, vegetables in the middle of our winter in Canada. Mm -hmm. and I've got leafy greens Sorry. and herbs <laughs> growing in my living room. This is like <laughs> it's heaven on earth. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable that this is happening in my world. I can't mm -hmm. believe the changes in six months. Mm -hmm. Oh well, save the day. It's all good. Talk soon. Bye. So that was good. Mm -hmm. It was very good. Okay. Good to the last drop. I probably would lick the bowl if I wasn't on TV. <laughs> there you go. Well, you're not on TV. <laughs> well, <laughs> but you are on camera. <laughs> um. Well, I guess. Yeah. Anyways, um, we need to rate it. Oh, we do. We forgot to do that. Yes. Yeah, we, wow. can't, we can't forget to, to um, rate it. Out of five? Yeah. I'd give it a four. You would give it a four? I think so. Um, why I would give it a four is I don't taste the carrot. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. That's not the recipe's fault. That's more. No, but still. <laughs> the cook's fault. It's, 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 it's good. Um... It's creamy. It, it was warm, uh, yet not hot. Hot. Not hot. <laughs> but it was hot. <laughs> it was hot. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it was. It was. It it definitely fresh. warmed you up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're not sure whether you're warming up from the soup or from your re reflexology <laughs> that you had. We're not sure. <laughs> but it's warm in here. Yeah. Um, very good. I give it a four. I give just because yeah. I don't like giving people a five. <laughs> Only if it has chocolate. Oh, I was just going to say yes. Yeah. Maybe the next one. <laughs> Maybe. I'm going to give it a five, though. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, because I've tried different versions mm -hmm. and know by just altering it a little bit how much it's changed the recipe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. And this one here, you like it? I like it. Yeah. Well, oh, there you go. Yeah. So I'm going to give it a five. Four is not bad. Four is good. <laughs> So it's like peace twice. Four is really good. <laughs> right? Yeah. Peace twice. Okay, we'll be back. <laughs> so we have a little bit left over, and I'm going to put it in my mason jar, put it in the fridge, and definitely eat it within, you know, 24 to 24 hours for sure. So that it stays fresh. Yeah. And we could have had another bowl, but surprisingly, it's it's quite filling. Um, I'm actually surprised because I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm used to eating food, like, you know, and and this is a soup and real food. Real, real food. <laughs> it was such an oxymoron. I know, eh? Like <laughs> this seriously? is as real this as is, food. This is as, food as whole and yeah. real as you can possibly it's get. Exactly. Right? You can get more nutrients. Mm -hmm. You get everything. You, you, you eat, get the right enzymes, there. like mm -hmm. because you're not heating them up and they're not getting all destroyed. Yeah. So this is as real as it gets. But wow. Well, but that's, yeah, that's funny because that's what people will. Say, oh, that's not filling. Yeah, it's not it's gonna like, fill me. You know, and, yeah. yeah, aren't you missing real food? Uh, <laughs> hello, no. Because <laughs> real real food is overrated, I think. Well, it's over processed, <laughs> it's, too. And overpaid. <laughs> over yeah, yeah over yeah. processed, over everything. Like, yeah. yeah. So great. Yeah. So you can have it tomorrow for breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> I could. Just have it as a juice. You could actually put it in a smoothie if you wanted. Oh yes, yeah. Right. That would work the same. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, so lots of options. For yeah, me. wow. So you don't have, if you don't want to have the same soup again tomorrow morning yeah. or tonight for supper, add some extra stuff to it and it's create cool. something new. Yeah, yeah. Wow, nice, cool. Yeah. So we're back. Oops, with our dessert. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, and it looks really good. Yeah, and uh, this one is the MMPP. MMPP. <laughs> it's maple maca pecan pie. Pecan pie. Mm. So that one is from Raw Cake. I'll also add a link for you too if you want to pick up uh, that cookbook. So our uncooked book. So here we go. I don't know if you can really kind of see it. There we go. It's really good. It's really good. And your piece is a little bit bigger, but you've got. So I'm going to add a pecan to yours because why? Because you've got kind of you know you got kind of neglected. You don't like pecans? Well, I do, but you know it's not like I haven't had a lot of pecan pie. Really. Yeah, you ate half of it already. I've had you know a lot of maca. Oh. Mm. So. Mm. It smells good. Yes. <laughs> and and it has, because I, I made, um, I guess maybe an eight inch pie. I actually cut the recipe in half. Really? Yeah. It called for more? Yeah, so, two eight inch well, pies? I was afraid I'd have too much. Oh, so okay. I cut it in half. And um, How's, how does this freeze? So let's say I well, make- Well, that's just it. Yeah, how it, does it freeze? It We froze it. Okay. So this is coming out of the freezer. Oh, nice. So, so the the, um, the flavors have set and yes, yeah. So oh, yeah. Oh, nice. So we'll give it a, a, a taste and move on. Can I go ahead and eat now? Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> smells good. Mm. Now, once again, of course, obviously. I've tried this fresh and I've also tried it out of the freezer. So what's in it? Can I guess? Yeah. Hold on, I gotta put my glasses on and everything and I lost my page. It tastes and I'm really, talking with my mouthful. It has a really nice taste. I really like it. 155, I think, was the page. The crust is nice. You like the crust, eh? I do. I'm not sure what it is. Okay, because um, there's dates in it. Yeah, I can taste dates. The pecans. Brown sugar. No brown sugar. No that's brown not sugar. Wrong. No, it's not wrong. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. So your crust, you've got uh, pecans, you've got dates, uh, tahini paste. Oh, that's interesting. And maca. So there's a superfood maca in there. Um, which is, as, uh, gives you your libido a boost. Yeah. <laughs> so Francine was telling me she's, she's having this every morning, right? So I am. You, you started and your husband is doing this too. No. No. <laughs> you, you, you want to tell him to, to, yeah. No, she says. No. Yeah. It's really good for the men as well. Apparently. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, I'll have to sneak it in his food then. <laughs> oh, yeah. Put it in his... Is he having smoothies? No. <laughs> no. He's the diabetic, isn't he not? Yes. He's the one that should be eating... <laughs> yes, and it's usually the ones that should be eating this great stuff that yes. don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but you know okay. what? It's it's one of, the, one of those things because... You know, for me, I made this journey about, well, July when I bought my juicer mm -hmm. and I just kept going and going and going. So, but I ha I think a lot what happens to people is they, they hit sort of a plateau you know, or a, just not a, a plateau. They just hit something very negative. Oh yes. A yes, health crisis yes, yes, or something. Yes. And that's when you make some you drastic, know, drastic changes, drastic changes in your life, your, your... where I'm finding, mm -hmm. you know, mine is by choice. Mm -hmm. I'm choosing this and I'm going extreme, mm -hmm. more extreme than most people would. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not a hundred percent raw. So what's inside close. the filling? Oh yeah. You were, uh, mm -hmm. let me finish that before, um, before we get sidetracked again. Oh, that was it. The, and just a bit of salt. So that was the crust. So I was thinking, cause I find the crust a little, I find it just a little too heavy. Oh, okay. So I wanted to lighten it up a little bit. So I wanted to, change the texture so the recipe called um that you you put the crust in a high speed blender and i was thinking no i want to put this in a food processor and 
And my intuition to, to make me it dry, is, so it would be a little drier, not as, as a sticky, and sticky and wet. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I wanted to listen to, I didn't listen to my intuition, but you I'd like to do it again. <laughs> I, I fall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think this one, I did follow the recipe. I, I, I agree with you on the crust because we're so used to having crusts dry and yes. you know, a certain way. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, definitely. I think it's a nice spin on the crust. It, it works well. But I think if it was drier and not so gooey, yeah, just gummy, a little bit more like a little I think different it would, texture. Exactly, it's similar to what we had in our last one that we did. Because right now it kind of blends in. With it the blends filling. in with the filling. It's not a separate yes. item, and and I think crust and filling should be separate items. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I agree with you on that. I I, I want to change that. I look that. forward Next to time. that one. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so you, you want to come back? <laughs> Definitely. <that one. laughs> I will always come back. It's so nice that you, you, you know, you live so close. You know, it's like uh, Francine. Want to do a taste test thing tomorrow? Sure, sure. I'm there. <laughs> um, so for the filling, we have pecans, and we've got the dates again, and we've got coconut oil, okay. and almond milk, and okay. maple, maple syrup. syrup. Uh, sorry, it's almond milk, but I think I use cashew milk because oh, okay. I use this for New Year's, and the person. Could yeah. have um, almond milk as well. Okay. So um, I think I use cashew milk in this recipe. Maple syrup, which is I think debatable whether that's actually raw or not because they heat heat up the uh, maple syrup. No, I don't think it's raw. Maple syrup is um, heated. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but in, you'll find a lot of recipes. I think. But in the maple raw syrup vegan. in itself is so healthy. So, yeah. So it's I, I don't care really. I'm putting yeah. these maple. Syrup. <laughs> Uh, then the maca powder again. So we got lots of maca. We've got four tablespoons in this. Wow. Um, and I'm wondering if I cut that in half. I, I must have. Yeah, if you cut everything in Maybe I didn't. Oh, uh, yeah. I could have messed up. Could be. You don't take the taste and of the And then maca cinnamon and salt. I don't taste the maca powder. Okay. Uh, maca powder has a, as a, a taste. I take it in my smoothies every morning. Right. That's, That's what you were saying. Of maca. And it changes the flavor of the um, the smoothie. Of the smoothie, yeah. It gives it, um, well, it, it tastes like maca. My excuse me, my smoothie every morning. Yeah. You can taste the maca. You can it. taste it. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Interesting. Whereas here, I could taste it because I know what it tastes like, but it's not overpowering. So it's not. Um, yeah, I know. I taste the pecans for sure, which have a different flavor. Like there's. It's, it's interesting when you take a nut and you blend it and squish it and, and shred it and put it into something, the taste that you get right. is so different than from just eating them out of a bowl or something. Yes. And these were mm -hmm. shelves. So I actually, you know. Oh, you had to. Uh, I shelved them. Oh like, my God. Yeah, I had to hold them. And, <laughs> yeah. Well, so okay. they're, they're probably as fresh as you can get, right? I would think. Yeah, that'd be hard. Those are those little thin brown football style nuts. They're slippery. They're kind of, yeah. you know? Yep. Yeah. We have them at Christmas time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's That's fun. the best way, though, <laughs> is when, you know, mm -hmm. you're, you're trying recipes to, to pick the ingredients that are in season. Mmm. You know, that's the best way. That's good. Yeah, you're enjoying it. <laughs> I, I, I'm devouring I, it. I, yeah. You want, if you take one home for and your husband, and give him no a little chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, he won't know. It'll be in his dessert. I, I have read that maca does work, but it takes a while mm. to work. It's not like you take maca and, oh my God, the world, world the watch out. On fire. <laughs> no. No way. Eh? Well, if it is, then I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> okay. But didn't you say you were having like a little increase there? Maybe. <laughs> so obviously it's, you know, mm. it, it's helping. Could be that or it could be the fact that we're um, empty nesters now. Mm. And you're on holidays. Mm. And, yeah. and it's been the holidays. So happy new year, everybody. <laughs> Very good pie. Excellent. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite enjoying it. I was thinking, 
you know, change the crust a little bit mm -hmm. and um, make the filling a little lighter. But what makes it heavy? Um, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you're saying it needs to be lighter. So what's I'm just adding a little bit and more like a like a pudding. Mm -hmm. Less pecans, then. Yeah, or yeah, less pecans, maybe and, less dates. Yeah, and, and more. Add a little bit more of the whatever milk that you're putting in there. Or cashew milk? Yeah. They actually wow. sell cashew milk? Wow. Or you can make your own. Mmm. Yeah, I'm making a lot of nut milk. In the now. juicer. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not using the juicer. Um, what I do is I use the Vitamix. The Vitamix is one of those things that if you you're thinking. Everything? of um, a blender to incorporate more raw vegan recipes, uh, the Vitamix is definitely worthwhile and purchase. I'm glad you enjoyed that so much. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I've had it a lot in the last, you know, five days, so. Really? It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not well, surprised. It was yeah, no, it was after Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm surprised it's that good. The desserts are like yeah. I'm really excited about doing the desserts. They're always going to be a hit because the sweetness, though, like must be the dates. The dates, yes. But there's there's something sweet, something. That's why I said uh, brown sugar and yeah. And when I'm using vanilla, well, we didn't have vanilla in that one though, did we? Mm -hmm, I don't think no. so. Um, so when I use vanilla, for instance, I like to use the bean. Mm. So there's a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Once again, it's the ingredients, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because it does taste like brown sugar. Yeah, and there's for no, some there reason, is no brown sugar. No, I don't no. have brown sugar in my house. The maple syrup and the pecans and mm -hmm. yeah, it's quite tasty. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Mm. I can still taste the soup. <laughs> <laughs> Should give it a little more rest for our little tummies. Mm. So that was really good. Would you like to um, give that a? Oh, that's definitely a, a five. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I'd probably photocopy the recipe, take a picture of it, and steal it off you. Oh. <laughs> She's not gonna wait for the YouTube. Nope. <laughs> it was good. <clears throat> I, yeah. I could see myself making something like that. It's. I, I think it would be a great. Um, the dates, I'm not sure about the sugar content in a date though, and that's... It's high. It is, eh? Oh, well, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that so quickly. There's a lot of dates in it, mm -hmm. right? So, yeah. and, and dates is sugar, of course. Well, that's that's a, that's a great... But it's not refined sugar, so you're... Yeah, you're, so it's a different a, type, yeah. So a much could... healthier dessert mm -hmm. than a bit. I was know? thinking um, dates and maca, you know? <laughs> Perfect combination. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> You're married like for how long? Oh yeah, I guess you should still do date night for when? No, no you and your husband don't do date night? No? No. no. Maybe they could start something in this year. <laughs> you know. Nope. Now that you're, you know, increasing the <laughs> maca intake in your... That's right. Like, what was that say? Um, if you want grandchild children, make them yourself. <laughs> Yeah, my ship has failed. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please give us the thumbs up mm -hmm. and caring is sharing. So mm -hmm. Please share, share share our video and of course subscribe. Mm -hmm. And until next time, maybe you'll see Francine again because <laughs> oh, maybe. she's kind of liking this taste testing stuff. I do. It was really good. I. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with it all. So thank you for watching <laughs> and thank you, Francine, for joining thank us. You. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye. So you remember the routine.
Oh, I'll try to remember it. When Smile. I get the glare in my glasses, and it's really bothering me. Well, take your glasses off. No, I can't because I'm going to I think you're just self-conscious of it. Ignore. I don't like videos. <laughs> oh, you said that before. I We're videoing know. now, you know. We are. So then let's do this. <laughs> okay, let's do this. We're overthinking it. So we got to... Remember the little dot at the top? Oh, it's not on. Oh, yeah. You mean that little white thing? Yeah, that's where oh. you're looking, right? So that oh, the, you're yes. looking at the yes. audience, right? Okay. And then you smile first so I know where to crop. Like in the camera. I'm Hello. <laughs> going. Do you see the numbers? Yes, I see the number changing. Oh, dessert. Oh, <laughs> I have gum in my mouth. <laughs> That's going to ruin. Ow! Did <clears throat> you hurt yourself? Yeah, I, I tried to move my chair. Well, you're kind of like really close to me. I know. <laughs> you know, like, there's no getting away. Am I too close? <clears throat> Because I'm not centered in the TV. I should be closer to you. See? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're a little off center, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what I did. I just noticed it. Yeah. Oh, well. I guess at this point. I'll just leave it, I guess. <laughs> can, can we eat? I'm no! Hungry. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta say hello to people. Oh, hello, people. <laughs> now let me eat. Okay. Uh... In the light? In the light. <laughs>